Hey, this is Mark from uh, Newsweed.com. I always say it's never as it seems. Hey, uh, I think I owe you guys at least a comment from BNGO since I used to own a million shares. Uh, seeing the price jump up as high as $4.20 really made me very jealous of all the people that have held. However, back in January, I had to sell. Uh, after meeting Eric, I just, I just got a really bad feeling. So what's making the price move up today? You know, many of my friends who I knew, that knew I owned the stock, bought the stock and did not sell the stock. And, um, you know, they're looking really good right now. Uh, I'll give a shout out to Rags. He's the one who said that the stock could probably go to $10. But the question is why? You know, show me, show me the numbers. 20 machines sold in the last quarter is not a good thing. It's really not. The only thing this could possibly be is a buyout. Now, there was a lot of conversation about Illumina uh, not doing that well and there being price pressure on their stock, although it's up today. But I also want you to notice that as BNGO went up, also PacBio went up. So I do believe that the price has jumped because of a rumor of buyout. But again, there's still no FDA approval on BNGO. There's still, still no... Uh, uh, real sales uh, impact. And quite frankly, the uh, test that they claim that they have found the one in 3,000 people that have this uh, this uh, problem uh, really should not have moved the stock this much. So I think that there's some underlying knowledge uh, within the industry uh, as a whole. Uh, I think the genetics industry is actually gonna be under a lot of pressure uh, because as I had written five or six or seven years ago, uh, I did believe that uh, the next attacks, the bio warfare, would come from the fact that so many people were giving away their, their DNA. Um, it's done some good. It's found some criminals. But the fact of the matter is now that they, uh, our enemies uh, can customize, or even a, a crazy guy in the basement can customize something that uh, can kill people, uh, very quietly, you know, more quietly than uh, arsenic. So uh, I think the genetics, uh, genomics industry uh, has not moved properly. Uh, it should have been focused on caring for patients, finding solutions to diseases, instead of uh, grossly taking advantage of people by uh, selling off their DNA uh, to companies or countries that can do harm with it. So I think that is the critical uh, point where we're at right now. Uh, I was very excited about genomics because I thought that, you know, there would be cures, there would be uh, incidences of life-saving. But, um, you know, after meeting a guy like Eric, who's, you know, probably one of the bigger players in the industry, I don't see anything except greed. Uh, and that uh, makes me very sad. So as far as BNGO goes, I'm happy for all of you as far as the price going up. I saw it was at 420 today. The time is about 1130 and the price is at uh, $3.35, uh, which is up a, approximately 39 cents. But more importantly, it's up about, uh, let's see, uh, it's up about uh, $2 since, since it's low. Uh, I actually bought puts on BNGO, not a lot. Kind of, maybe I bought some puts to make myself feel better if the price went down. But uh, after earnings, which were very poor earnings, which again, very high expenses, uh, it seems as if the stock is uh, is rallying. So uh, I have a very close friend who I met with in New York a couple weeks ago. Uh, he owns a substantial amount of BNGO and I am absolutely happy for him. Uh, but I think I owe all the BNGO holders my opinion. And that's why I'm looking up at you. I'm looking up at all of you because you know, you're the holders, you're the believers. Uh, but I ask you to question yourself what you believe in. Um, I have other holdings in stocks. Uh, I would say my portfolio is not doing great, but I feel confident with my decisions. And I think that's the key to investing in the stock market. Uh, so kudos to you guys. Good luck. God bless. Frankla is doing a great job reporting with enthusiasm. Um, and uh, we'll see what happens. Um, it looks like the market is very schizophrenic. So maybe uh, OGM 
optical genome mapping can do something to figure out the uh, DNA of the market. Remember what I always say, it's never as it seems. Mark from newsweed.com. Hope to see you all at a big party one day. Ciao.